Hi, my name is David Kallenbach and I'm working as a field application engineer at Framos. Today's video will be a combination of hands-on and useful side information around our Framos sensor module ecosystem, or in short, FSM ecosystem. Today I've received our FSM ecosystem dual dev kit around Sony's rolling shutter image sensor IMX415. I will guide you through the required steps from unboxing to hardware and software setup and show you some of the capabilities and limitations of our ecosystem. I have prepared a host PC running on Linux, which is connected via USB to a Jetsync Xavier AGX that I'm using as a target processing platform. Let's have a look at what's inside the box. As you can see, the modules have already been pre-assembled, so I can easily plug these into our Jetsync development board. Our ecosystem approach consists of three different boards. The first board is the Framer Sensor module, FSM, which comprises the image sensor as well as an example lens and M12 lens mount. Please note that you can use any other suitable M12 lens and we can also equip our modules with CCS mount if required. Via our versatile PixelMate connector, the native sensor signals, be it MPCs I2 or LVDS, SLVS and SLVS EC are routed directly to the Framos sensor adapter, FSA, and from there using the same PixelMate connector to the Framos processing adapter, FPA. The FSA receives its central power supply from the Jetson platform through the FPA and generates the required voltages, clocks and signals separated from the image sensor board, keeping noise sources away from the imager. Our FPA allows connection and sensor level synchronization of multiple FSM-FSA combinations to the Jetson. The AGX Xavier setup on the table, for example, supports up to four of them. My hardware setup is now ready for software installation. In each of our FSM ecosystem development kits, you will find a business card with a web link on it. Open this link in your browser for driver and software download, detailed installation and software guidance, as well as further useful information around our ecosystem. With the following animation, I will guide you through the major steps of software installation. A detailed installation description can be found in the user guide which again you will find on the web page following the link on the business card. First, we need to prepare our host PC. An internet access is required to download the chat pack from the NVIDIA cloud and our driver from the Framos web page. Using the NVIDIA SDK manager, first the standard chat pack version needs to be installed, then it needs to be patched with the Framos driver. As a second step, the host PC needs to be connected to the Jetson platform allowing to flash the patched Jetpack version onto the Jetson platform. Please note that during this process, Jetson needs to be started in recovery mode. After successful installation of the patched Jetpack version, we can disconnect the host PC and regularly start our Jetson platform. After initial configuration of Linux for Tigra, the demo software package for the FSM ecosystem can be installed and configured. Another reboot is required and we can now start to use our connected hardware. The overall process usually doesn't take you more than 60 minutes. At this stage, both the hardware and the software are prepared and ready to go. I'm going to switch over to Jetson screen sharing to elaborate a little more on the supported functions and limitations of our driver implementation. Looking at the software installation folders, you can see that there's two different libraries available. Through our modules, the Jetson is directly communicating with the image sensors and raw image data can be acquired. One option is to use our libsv and its sample application, which will allow you to take raw image data bypassing the dedicated image signal processor of the Jetson. It further supports image capturing and displaying with basic dewiring being applied, utilizing the Jetson CPU. The other one is connected to the LibAgos API and allows utilization of the NVIDIA ISP for efficient image pre-processing, as well as usage of the corresponding graphical user interface for comfortable setting of core parameters. Details to both libraries and their implications can be found in the documentation provided with our software package, as well as in the NVIDIA Jetson references.
For demonstration purposes, in this video we are going to have a closer look at LibArgus using the Argos camera sample application. As you can see, some parameters like resolution, bit depth, exposure and gain can easily be changed in the graphical user interface. Please note that in contrast to a fully functional camera, our sensor modules aim at very optimized systems and thus come with a limited but open source baseline driver. As such, it is an 80% solution, providing you with the framework to be completed with your application-specific needs, leveraging direct image sensor access and giving full control. I have started a dual video stream for both connected modules. Just to recall, we have connected two equal modules with the 8 megapixel 60 frames per second Sony sensor IMX415 to the Jetson. Still, as you can see, the images on the two video streams look quite different. Let me briefly explain this difference. As you may remember, we are using the LibArgos library, which is utilizing the NVIDIA ISP for efficient image preprocessing. Now, this ISP needs to be pre-configured to each specific hardware. The pale-looking picture has a low contrast overall, colors are off and generally speaking, the image doesn't look pleasing to our eyes. This is because it is using the standard ISP configuration on the Jetson, which is not in any way optimized for this specific image sensor and lens we have connected. As NVIDIA preferred partner, we at Framos have the capability to calibrate the ISP specifically for a given hardware, which has been done for the second image stream. So we're looking at the same hardware, delivering equal quality raw images to the Jetson platform. One of them using default ISP settings and the other one using an ISP setting that has been optimized on image quality. Please reach out to your local Framos sales representative or support at framos.com for further information on this topic. Besides the IMX415 as image sensor and HEX Xavier as processing platform that I have used for this video, our Framos sensor module ecosystem gives you easy access to a vast variety of different image sensors on the one side and various processing platforms on the other side. All of these hardware setups are already available off the shelf for kickstarting your hardware and software projects from scratch. Our reference design allows you a development boost and thus a decreased risk and time to market. We also support custom specific hardware and setups on per project basis. Please reach out to your local Framer sales representative for further information or contact us directly via the contact form that is linked in the video notes. For general information on our ecosystem, please visit our webpage. The direct link to our ecosystem landing page can be found in the video notes. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for listening and we're looking forward to hearing from you.